Okay, so there's this rumor that's been going around for like the past, I don't know, three months maybe, since like the beginning to the end of November, that there's going to be a PlayStation Smash Brothers-like game. Yes, that is the story. Now, the name of the game I'll get into in a little bit, but this is kind of cool news. I mean, as much as I hate when other gaming companies rip other gaming companies off, I'm such a bastard, a selfish bastard in terms of these types of games, that I would like to see even Xbox release a version of this. I mean, I think every major platform, you know, every game has been redone so many times that every every one of the big three should have their multi-star action fighting knock off the screen sort of game. You know, a big mashup fighting game in Smash Style. Like, fighting games are, are regular fighting games are like dime a dozen, but these, they're, you know, Smash is different. You know, you beat your opponent up until you can knock them off the screen, and then you move on, you move on, you move on. So, <laughs> I'd like to see more of those, and the fact that PlayStation may be doing it is a step in the right direction. I would welcome PlayStation, uh, not PlayStation, Xbox to do the same thing. You know, so, that's very interesting to me. Um... This whole thing was posted on this guy's network, the Paul Gale network. Some guy named Paul Gale, you know, he updates his blogs, he talks about video games, talks about technology. You know, it's a blog dedicated to that kind of techie, you know, nerdy sort of stuff. He's the first one to, uh, you know, point this game out, said it was in development because, you know, he knows contacts within the people who, t uh, who are developing this game. Like, he knows people, you know, inside sources, this, that, and the other. So he released some information, you know, back in November... You know, about the game, he says that the title of this game is Title Fight, which, you know, that's pretty plain in and of itself. Like, it's not really a name that jumps out at you, like, Title Fight. Ooh, characters from different titles fighting. You know what I mean? So, you know, that name and the title, you know, art, which is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a working concept right now. You know, it, everything looks kind of plain for that. Like, I don't mind the name, you know. A name's useless if... Uh, well, it's got to sell well, so I don't know how well, but, like, how well it'll sell with that name. But, I mean, if your game's good, then the title shouldn't really matter. And Title Fight, you know, it does make sense. I mean, it's a bunch of characters from different titles fighting. So, you know, as plain as it is, I don't really have a huge problem with it. And besides, it's a working title. It can change as the game gets, you know, more progressive and moves on a little bit more. So, this news was released at, like, the beginning of November. You know, he said the name of the game's Title Fight. You know, he talked about, you know, the graphics, the visuals, um, what the controls are going to be, this, that, and the other. But, you know, nobody cares about that kind of stuff. You figure that out as you play. What we want to know about is the characters. Um, so the characters allegedly, you know, scheduled to be in this game is the Colonel from Killzone 2, Kratos from God of War, you know, Parappa the Rapper. It's like, that'd be kind of like a more obscure, older PlayStation character, but I have no no problem with him being in there. I want to see how they're going to pull that off. He's just like this 2D little flat guy walking around. That'd be really cool. Um, Nathan Drake from, you know, uh, Uncharted. Can't believe I had a brain fart there. So, yes, from un the main character from Uncharted. Sly Cooper. Uh, Sweet Tooth from, you know, uh, Twisted Metal. Uh, Fat Princess, believe it or not. And, uh, you know, apparently stages, they're talking about, you know, base, they're, they're developing a stage based on Little Big Planet, Jack and Dexter, which brings up speculation that most likely both Jack and Dexter and uh, Sackboy will be involved in this game as well. I don't think they're going to leave them out there. They're very hot PlayStation commodities, so I don't see the point in leaving them out. There's also the talk about, you know, maybe Crash Bandicoot and Spyro making appearances in this, that, and the other. A very impo uh, interesting note is that um, Paul Gale actually talked about, you know, adding, you know, third-party plugs into the game. And he noted that, you know, James Bond, you know, is an idea that's floating around because apparently when they're planning to release this game coincides with the next James Bond movie. So it'd be like kind of like a plug-in, like, oh, go check out the movie. We got James Bond in here now. I don't know if that's going to be pulled off. I don't know very much about it, but that's apparently what they're going to try and do. So Sony decided that it was time to make a new Smash Brothers game, if this is indeed true. And, you know, speaking of Sweet Tooth, um, I think he's a really cool addition to the game. I mean, you know, the way he's going to attack people is probably going to be brutal, and he's probably the most, you know, mature character in the entire game. Well, you, know, you got Killzone 2 character in there, too, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> but the reason, you know, I'm kind of siding with the fact that this is more real is that um, he did uh, announce that the developers for the game, which uh, their names are... <clears throat> Let me just find it here. Got to find my source. Superbot Entertainment are allegedly the, you know, they're a new development team, you know, just newly formed. This is their first big project. And apparently they're the ones behind the development for this game. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, apparently Superbot themselves released a screenshot uh, of Sweet Tooth basically preparing for action, which I will provide in the video description. Um, uh, at the time of this recording, I don't know if I'm going to use it for the avatar for this video. It could be, so if you've seen that already, then you know what he looks like. But if not, if I don't decide to add it as the avatar, it'll be down in the description for you to look at more closely anyway. So, for your own convenience. <clears throat> so that, and you know, you see like the team working on stuff and, uh, you know, shaping out bodies and stuff like that. You know, the, this, this team actually did show that, they, you know, they are in development you know, you kind of can't fake that, but then again, at the same time, they could be working on something else, and Paul Gale's just claiming they're working on this. But for the benefit of the doubt, I will give them the benefit of this doubt, and say that, yes, indeed, this game is very well likely in development. I would say we figure this out, like, for truth, if, you know, come E3 2012, that they have a trailer for Title Fight. Uh, which will be really interesting because, you know, they'll be able to show what kind of characters do what and what kind of characters are going to be in it. It'll be very interesting to see. I'm, you know, if they're going to unveil, you know, big features about it, they might as well wait until, you know, June with E3. Seems like the most likely place to reveal that kind of stuff. You know, so, yeah, this video is just about talking about fact or fiction, as you can tell from the title. So, yeah, I'm leaning more towards fact on this one. I could see Sony really trying to you know, combat with Nintendo on this sort of thing. The only thing that's kind of weird about it is just the development team behind it. You know, you'd expect some sort of second-party PlayStation developers to be behind this sort of thing, but no, they're leaving it in the, in the hands of this new, unknown game development team that are apparently developing all the characters and meshing everything together. That's hearsay. If they develop a great game, then they'll pretty much put their names on the market for the new guys in town to develop future titles for PlayStation and really prove their worth with this one. I mean, if they pull this off good, this could be a good first start for Superbot Entertainment, let me tell you that. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, apparently there could be this big PlayStation Smash Brothers-esque clone that's coming out. Uh, I don't know if they plan to release it you know, sometime this year or the beginning of next year. Apparently, they're gunning for some sort of 2012 release, according to the Paul Gale Network. And apparently, development has been going on since post-E3 of 2011. So, shortly after last year's E3, this team got together and started developing this game. Uh, you know, the more importantly, I think the, the most important thing about this is the characters themselves. I'm really liking the you know selection of PlayStation characters that they're involving in this thing. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Parappa being in the game. I used to play uh, Parappa the Rapper when I was younger. It's a little hokey now to play, but just to see what he'd be able to do. Like, he's basically a 2D character. So to have him in the game, I think it's really kind of cool on how they're going to work. That was he going to do, like, sing notes at people. I find that really fascinating. You know, Kratos and Sweet Tooth, these big brutes, are going to be in the game just, you know, mauling people. You got the Colonel from Killzone, you know, who's basically, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, Mal Raddick. I don't know, I'm just going to call him the Colonel. But I'm sure he's going to be pretty brutal and, you know, his move set. It's just, it's such a clash of characters. And you got, you know, Nathan Drake, who he has probably his own unique fighting. So you got Sly Cooper, who I'm going to love in the game. Especially if they're going to make him cell shaded he's going to look awesome. You know, he's going to be really unique. You know, Fat Princess is a really unique idea, too. You know, especially with, the, you know, the ideas that Jack and Dexter and, you know, um... Sackboy also. You know, that's a really cool uh, amount of characters. You know, again, if you know all this proves to be true and all the characters play out perfectly and all the stages mesh well and they do a great job on this first game, this could be a huge thing for PlayStation. It's, it's a whole new series for them, as, you know, as they add more characters, gain more repertoire. You know what's really funny about this is that it took three consoles. Again, if this is true, which I'm leaning towards that it is, it took PlayStation 3 consoles to figure out, ooh, Smash Brothers is working. Let's try it ourselves. So, it's just kind of interesting. 
I found this news very interesting when I read it. You know, the first time I read it was like end of November, beginning of December. A lot of information has come out since then. You know, the the developers of the game have, um, you know, spoke to the public about developing it. Apparently, um, you know, the characters, especially Sweet Tooth, have apparently been confirmed to be in development. Apparently, you know, this Paul Gale isn't trying to, you know, lie to people and make up a big, big joke. Uh, apparently, this is real. But there's just so little information on it other than, you know, a few shots of the Superbot team working and one screenshot of Sweet Tooth that I still, you know, I have slight doubts. And I think that's all I have to really say, ladies and gentlemen. But in terms of a game, this is really big news. And it would do really well for the PlayStation market to have their own sort of smash style video game as i said i think even xbox should get one i mean any fighting game that has a clash of famous characters from a whole bunch of your different series competing in one game it's automatically gonna sell because people generally find that interesting and so do i as we all know so this could be one game on the radar for me we'll see as more information becomes available i'll post many different links to the paul gale network uh, in the description uh screenshot of sweet tooth in the description all this sort of stuff that i've talked about will go in the, uh, the video description. Anyway, I'm over 10 minutes as it is now, but that doesn't really matter since I have no time limit, ladies and gentlemen. But I've uh, gone on way too long. Um, post your comments about the, you know, possibility of this game, what you think of this game, and what you think of PlayStation overall copying Smash Brothers. Again, now to kind of close this off, I could go however long I want, so let's just continue on a little bit here. I don't like the idea of others stealing ideas. But, at the same time, I'm such a huge fan of this style of fighting games that it doesn't really bother me, especially since it's taken this long for the others to even copy Smash Brothers. And again, you gotta take into account if all this is true. You know, if this is 100% truth, again, it doesn't bother me as much as it would, you know, anything else. So... That's just a food for thought. You know, comment on that as well. What you think about you know, uh, you know, Sony development team. You know, you making Smash uh, their version of Smash Brothers. Comment whatever you want on this project or this idea that's been floating around. Anyway, that's it. I'm off. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Peace.